Good afternoon, dear subscribers and guests of the channel. In today's video, we'll walk through a clean installation of Windows Server 2022 followed by a basic setup. I always strongly recommend doing a clean install, as it avoids many problems in the future that could appear when upgrading an old operating system to Windows Server 2022. As a preparatory work, we have already made a bootable USB flash drive, but no one bothers you to use the ISO image in conjunction with the management port on the physical server, IM, ILO, IDRAC or IPMI. Before we start, I ask you to subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up, this is not difficult for you, but for me it is a very big motivation. I will show the installation process on a VMware Workstation virtual machine. It doesn't matter how you slip in the distribution kit with Windows Server 2022, the installation process itself will be the same everywhere, unless of course you use a response file. First, as usual, you will see a prompt to press enter to initiate the Server 2022 installation wizard. Next, you are greeted by a classic window with a choice of language that will be used as the main language in the interface of the Windows Server 2022 setup wizard. I will leave everything as default. A small bonus, if you are a novice system administrator, you may not know that if you press Shift plus F10 at the same time here, you can call the command line. You can safely close it, it does not affect anything, you may have a question what it could be for, here are a couple of examples, fixing the 0xc000098 error or resetting the password for the domain administrator. On the next screen, you just need to click the install button. Note that there is a system restore button here which contains tools if you have boot problems or file system corruption. Click the Install button. I will install the standard version with graphics mode. Next, you should read the license agreement and if everything suits you, then check the box and click Next. Update, installing with saving files, settings and applications, I sometimes use this type in my work when I don't want to reinstall services and want to switch to a more recent version of the OS, in cases with virtual machines it rolls, because you can take a snapshot before this action and in which case, just roll back. Custom, Windows installation only, in fact, this is a clean installation of Windows Server 2022, where you need to partition the disk and after installation there will be nothing pre-installed in the OS. You must choose this method. In my example, there is only one unallocated area, it may be different for you, but in any case, you must decide where the system will be installed. Then just click Next. Another point, if you do not see disk space, then there are simply no drivers on the installation disk, this happens very often with RAID controllers. Through the button load driver you can put them. The installation of Windows Server 2022 begins, everything goes through several stages, unpacking the distribution and copying it to disk, installing drivers and updates. After a couple of reboots, you will see a form in which you need to come up with a password for the administrator account, I remind you that the password must comply with security standards, capital letter, lowercase, special character and number. After that, you will see a standard picture with a cave and a coast from Microsoft. Press CTR Lyle T plus delete to open the login form. We drive in the password for the administrator account and log into the system. In the system settings, in the about section, there is an area of characteristics. Windows. Here you will also find the release and version of the assembly.
The first thing you must do is give your server a name. To do this, call the run window and enter SISDM. CPL. The system properties window will open. On the computer name tab, click the change button. Set the server name based on your requirements or company requirements. We save the settings, we will not restart the server until we do. Next, it is very important to install the latest security updates on the server before putting into operation. To do this, go to the system settings, section update and security and click the button check for updates. While we are downloading and preparing to install the update, I advise you to make network settings. To do this, in the run window, enter NPA. CPL this will allow you to bring up a window with your network interfaces. I'm used to giving the server a static IP address, but you may have other policies, such as reservations on a DHCP server. If necessary, go to the interface properties and specify the desired IP address, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS servers. The next step is to make sure that your Windows Server 2022 has the correct performance settings, for this, in the run window, enter SISDM. CPL again and go to the Advanced tab. There is a performance section, you need to go to its settings. Make sure that almost all settings should be turned off except for one. It is also very important for server administration to have access via RDP, which is disabled by default. Let's activate it in the next tab. If necessary, assign rights to the desired groups or users for remote access. I also always advise you to remove the Internet Explorer browser from the system, since it has already ceased to be officially supported and has been replaced by the Edge browser. You can do this through the Windows settings in the Apps section. Select Optional Features. Find IE11 in the list and click the Uninstall button. The second method is to use the PowerShell shell in Administrator mode. Enter the following command and wait a bit. When the command completes, you will be asked to reboot the system. After the reboot, if you try to find IE in the search, then there will be no results. This completes the basic setup of Windows Server 2022. Next, you must enter the server into the domain if it exists and install the necessary roles. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe to the channel. I'm waiting for questions in the comments.